Good morning, folks. Got a lot of science to hit today, including a potential weather signal on Mars that may point to its increasing change in the ongoing solar system shift. But let's start with our star, and we find the last 24 hours pretty quiet. Bit of activity remains at the departing limb, but nothing Earth-directed, and we say goodbye to the active regions and larger plasma features turning out of view. We are taking a mild coronal hole stream. Plasma speed is elevated but steady, allowing only minor unrest present in the geomagnetic field. Relatively quiet for now. A powerful gamma burst was recorded earlier this month. Luckily, it was very far away, and so it had no effect on Earth. But for the distance away, it shines so brightly that we know it represents one of the largest such events we've seen in deep space. Powerful cosmic jet. I wanted to give a shout out and thank you for the plug from InfoWars yesterday. Was not expecting that, but thank you guys very much. Been waiting for them to get into the natural disaster risk element from space for about a decade. Let's settle back down into some articles and updates here with Lucy's gravity assist acceleration upcoming at Earth. The satellite will slingshot around the planet and out towards the Trojan asteroids for its primary mission. Should get some awesome flyby views when it gets out there. Good article in Nature on dissipation of field-aligned currents into the upper ionosphere. This dumping of space energy into the top side of Earth helps stir the global electric circuit and eventually works its way to the surface through that circuit and the geomagnetic fields. One of the many ways solar wind coupling can affect the atmosphere here, and it'll affect climate as well. Good one up next on pre-nova material accumulation obscuring the light from a star. In what is also an Easter egg for veterans of solar micronova science, they say this accumulation slowly turns the star red and then black right before the nova eruption. Where have we heard that before? But our top story today is Mars, a dust storm with a strong front characteristic shouldn't be there. Not only is such a storm not supposed to happen here at this time of the Martian year, but it remains stationary for hours. This is especially telling because the strong bow-shaped front usually requires a strong wind push behind it, but there was no movement to the form, indicating that the electrical aspects of the environment likely formed the bow shape and then kept it in place. This is one of the best electrodynamic pieces of evidence of the unexpected Martian activity and could be the latest planetary signal of the ongoing electromagnetic shift in the solar system. Timing, location, shape, and dynamics all break the mold, unless, of course, that mold is that we're going through a major shift throughout the solar system, the one we've been covering in detail. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn everything about the solar system shift, including what's happening throughout, why, and what's coming next with our playlists and books below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.